Hey everyone, my name is Justin from justicegood.com and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can replace your cup of coffee with some simple layer mask tricks in Photoshop. I actually got this idea from Instagram. I saw it pop up a couple times, so I thought it'd be a cool one to share. Also, why aren't you guys following me on Instagram? I post all type of cool stuff on there, so check me out. I'd appreciate it. So I'm going to use these two stock photos from death to stock. And what I'm going to do is just drag the ocean or wave photo on top of the cup of coffee photo. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this layer for now. And then we're going to click on our original background layer so we can begin working. And we're just going to use the quick selection tool to get the quickest selection. So working on add to selection mode and with a brush size that's reasonable for your image, just click through and it's typically going to create the selection pretty perfectly on one click. If you need to, you can click refine edge and you can do things like smooth the edge and increase the radius and shift the edge outward a little bit. You can also brush on to problem areas that you want Photoshop to blend a little bit better. But now we have our selection and we want to use this selection to create a mask on our wave layer. So let's make our wave layer visible again and then select it so we're working on it and then head over to layer, layer mask, reveal selection. Now let's say this isn't the exact placement you want, although it came out pretty nice for me. What you want to do is unlink the layer and the layer mask by pressing this chain right here and then you can click on your photo layer and move it and scale it around without moving your mask. As long as you made a clean selection, you should have just replaced your cup of coffee with a cup of whatever you want, in this case, the ocean. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys that followed me on Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter and all that. And I definitely read all of your guys' comments and respond to everyone as fast as I can. So thanks once again. Definitely subscribe for more tutorials and I'll see you guys next time.